And now for the second exercise, this is where we're going to take a look at measures of dispersion. We can either open up a new worksheet or we can add data to the existing worksheet. Let's click on our existing worksheet, go to the worksheets folder, and we can add another data set in here. And let's just call this data set data2. And let's enter the data in. So from your worksheet of information, you should have this data. I'll mention it as we type it in here. So it's 2, 4, 6, 7, 4, 1, 8, 7, 14, 16, 13, 17, 4, and 14. So now what we can do, we can take a look at measures of dispersion. Things like the range and the standard deviation and the variance. So we're going to go to our stat pull down menu. We're going to select basic statistics and we're going to display descriptive statistics. We need to change the variable to data set 2. So we can do that by double clicking on it. And now data set 2 is the variable that we're going to study. The statistics unless you've closed Minitab and opened it again, would still be checked as mean, median, and mode from the last time that we were in here. We're going to uncheck those. And what we want is the standard deviation. We want to calculate the variance. And then we'd like to have the range. And for shucks and jollies, why don't we add the min and the max in there as well? And we can say OK. Now we already had selected a histogram of the data, so let's just leave that in there. And now let's press OK. I'm going to go up to the big blue eye and click on the graph folder, which is next to it. So there's our histogram of the data. Looks like there's a little hole in it, but it's for the short amount of data that we have, a small data set. Um, that may actually be normally distributed, but we haven't tested for that. Let's go to the session window and see what we have from a statistics standpoint for our measures of dispersion. All right, in this case, we have a standard deviation of 5.4. The variance is 29.17. Now, the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. The minimum value we had was a 1. The maximum value was 17 with a range of 16. So those are our measures of dispersion for the data. And our data in a histogram looks like this. That's how you calculate measures of dispersion using Minitab.